All right, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from the top eight of the Space Jam. This is Gold Squadron premier level series of events. This is the first of four. We're going to crown, excuse me, not going to crown. We're going to create, we're going to give out four championship belts. We're going to, we're yeah, going to. You're, you're belting people. Belting people. But you know what, Ryan? I think I just inspired what? myself. Because I told you that the plan is we're going to have four champions, right? And we're going to take those four champions and we're going to make them play a showdown. Make them play. We're going to have them play a showdown to figure out who is the, the jammiest of the Space Jam champions. And then, you know what I think the prize for that event should be? A box of cereal. A crown. Oh, I see where we're going with this now. We will crown the Space Jam champion of champions. What if the crown was a belt for your head? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? This you is broke what me. This is you the, broke this, me. This is what you come to expect from this stream. And we've got a great matchup for you guys right now. I'm Ryan Farmer. I'm here with Dion. And we look at this. We're in the top eight of this tournament. Uh, on the left, you've got Garen Crow running Boba Fenn. We, you know it. It's a great squad. Uh, Fenn has got Fearless. Boba with Lone Wolf, Maul, Prox Mines, Contraband Cybernetics, Shield Upgrade, Slave One. We'll talk about how that differs from other Boba builds that we've seen. And Ryan Staniszewski with Zari Bangle, Heroic Optics, Greer, Heroic Optics, ZZ Plaw with Crack Shot Advanced Optics, Rose Tico with GA97, it's the Resistance Droid, and of course, the hard hitter himself, taking a break until he can march onto the stage, Finn, with Heroic Advanced Optics and Perceptive He's kind of a big deal. He's kind of a big deal. I feel like every time we yell, it's the Resistance, we need like like WWE intro music to come in so Finn can Vince McMahon his way onto stage. <laughs> Big deal coming in. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this uh, shakes out. But you know what? Cam on the left here, Garen Crow, is being yeah. quite aggressive. That means we got to get this uh, Choose Your Champion pull up ASAP. You got to get up right now. All right. So, you know, the chat barely won Choose Your Champion right there at the Bare last. Oh, my God. Barely. They got bailed out. <laughs> All right. So now I will tell you, I have to shout out my boys. Ryan Staniszewski and William Hagwood, two of Gold Squadron's very own, are in the top eight. All right. I'm not saying rigged. I'm just saying they're doing great. <laughs> so cast your vote there. Rigged. Oh, there you go. See, you called this out. <laughs> Fun walk. Sit in the chat right there. Hashtag rigged. All right. So looks like the plan is we're going after Fen Rao. I like the aggression from uh, from Boba Fett and Fen coming in here fast. Um, I like it too. But that's what they like to be. They like to be in your face. They want to be jousty, jousty, saying, "Look, I just better than you. Come look, Fen's like, look me in the eyes. It'll be fine. I promise." Yeah, hey, Dion, let's look at that, how Cam has built his Boba Fett in particular. Uh, what are the similarities and differences that we see from other Boba Fett builds? So this is, this one's we have, like you said, Boba Fett, Lone Wolf, um, Maul, Proxmine, Contraband, Cybernetics, Shield, and, um, and the Slave One title. So a couple of differences here. In hyperspace, you were seeing a lot of Fearless on Boba Fett um, instead of Lone Wolf. And then you would usually have a hole upgrade instead of a shield upgrade on Boba Fett. In Extended, there are some other lists that can get some pretty deep bids. So I think right here, Cam, just, you know what? We're going to spend some more of those points. Got shield instead of uh, instead of hole upgrade. And Lone Wolf there says Boba still gets a, uh, a re-roll even when he doesn't have people at range uh, at range. One. All right. We're, we're already into it. Our first shot. Fenral did duck into the middle there. Here we go. 
Two hits from Fen going into ZZ to low. And ZZ has a focus. We are fine and dandy. You know, it's this is exactly what you have to do against Ryan's squad is just go in hot, hard, aggressive because you don't you want to get him off his back foot before Finn arrives. Mm -hmm. And you have an opportunity here with your two ships to lay in the pain while he's a ship down, while he doesn't have that extra Finn help or that Finn fire. And, you know, a lot of times with this resistance squad, I'm sure Staniszewski is not used to. Here's the lone wolf from Boba. Boba's going to lay in a hit, hit, crit into uh, ZZ here. Oh, Natty! Oh, Natty's out. No, no Let's issue. Let's see them Easy. in the chat. Let's go. That, that's why they call him Easy Tlow. No problem. <laughs> Had an evade um, and everything. That's right. So, you know, most of the time with these resistance squads, before Finn gets there, you kind of slow roll, you draw your opponent in, you dictate the terms of engagement. But right now, with Cam coming in really, really hard here, you have to kind of reconvene here. Okay, where are my shots going? Like, what... How, what are my ships going to focus on? And it also means that Finn, when he deploys, you have to decide maybe he deploys on the bottom of the board. If if you've pushed up, if Cam has pushed all the way to this right side of the board, then you're sort of limiting the amount of t the space there is for Finn to do that one forward, one forward, one forward, one forward, over and over and over, you know? Agreed, agreed. You know, the, the play here with Finn Rao... Super high level, super high level. Because I think most players uh, would have assumed like, all right, Fenrir's just gonna go and get in a range one and do Fenrir things. And instead, he arc dodges an entire squad. Yeah, really strong. Uh, I think that Cam will continue to be really, really aggressive here, um, and try to. He didn't end up pushing any damage on Azizi there. But that doesn't, not for lack of trying, right? Yeah. Um, Fen does need to be careful here, though, because he could get in range one, but you don't want to get a situation where all three of those A wings are able to just sort of easily shoot at him. You're, what you're going to see Ryan do is sl try and potentially slow the game down. These A wings are really fast. So you might see him just zip away with them, five forward, five forward, five forward. It's so like, okay, chase me. That's fine. Get his spin in position. There's no reason to rush. Cam wants the game to go fast. Cam wants to be aggressive and force these engagements. Ryan has the opportunity, given the maneuverability and speed of these A-wings, to kind of get out of trouble. However, that's the downside of having Rose in the squad. She's a little slower. Yep. So she can't escape the same way these A-wings can. Yep. So it might be a question of do do are you going to end up having to give up Rose? Um, you know, it I mean it depends. Like Rose is your, you know, one of your cheapest ships. She is your cheapest ship. So it's like not the worst, but you want to feel like if you're giving up Rose, um a kind of what you want to do is if Fen is going to be able to attack Rose, you want to be able to get range two or three shots back on him with your rear guns of your A-wings. And that's what you're seeing here. Really good play by that A-wing, leapfrogging Rose. He'll rotate that arc and say, okay, listen, come get me. But if while you're chasing me, I'll be shooting you from behind with these A-wings. Yep, and ZZ is the most offensive one. He's the jousty jousty. He's not super afraid because he always has a mod. But he's going to stay with his buddies to try to focus fire and see if maybe uh, Fenral's trying to come around here on the backside. Uh, not to you st if he gets range one, he still gets uh, Concordia defensively, but you're taking away Fearless from uh, from Fenral. Yeah, exactly. And the other thing that I'll like ZZ is okay being kind of in the back because um, you know ZZ is going to be getting those extra tokens. Yep. Uh, really survivable ship. And here's Boba boosting, trying to get into range one here. To get those rerolls, get those mods. A wings are the kind of ships that can zip away from Boba, but that medium base, he's just got that speed, you know, which is why 
Lone Wolf obviously not going to proc here, but is really, All right, really here useful. Here we go. And I'm sorry, I said I said um, Concordia works at, at the back arc. I meant to say his, his pilot ability still gets five dice. Just misspoke there. All right, five here dice, Fen. Fen Rao. Into Rose. Only one hit. Could make it three. I don't think he will. He'll keep the focus. Yeah, just one. And got Rose it. Is fine. There's going to be a couple shots coming into Fen Rao. Looks like two when it's time. I think Boba fires at an A wing here. Uh, ZZ's going to be up first. ZZ has Boba Fett at range one. Could make it three hits and does. Yep, that's fine. So that's going to be a shield automatically. Can't do anything about that. Boba Fett rerolls are live. Yep. And takes two shields right off the bat. Yeah, that's big. And Finn's not even on the table yet, don't forget. That's where you have to be careful being as aggressive as you're being with Cam because if you're not able to get this damage through early on in the game, if you can't erase one of these, and then Finn comes from you know from the rear, you're just you know, it's so tough. But I did. I don't disagree with Cam's early aggressiveness. But Ryan was really prepared to deal with it. Mm -hmm. All right. So he's got one reroll here, or more than one. But so what's the call? He's gonna go to reroll re two both. dice. There. Oh, whew. three hits and a crit. Going into ZZ. That was out of the box. And Two. the evade is going to take a shield there. Not bad. Not a bad shield. exchange for Ryan. Not at all. Not at all. I would. I don't know if I would have fired at ZZ in that particular situation. I think I may. I, I know it's four dice there, right? And you know you can't do anything about. But with that evade token already pretty defensive, ZZ's already fired. I may have tried to strip a token from from one of these other A wings. So Greer is up. Ryan's probably trying to look down the line, see if he thinks that uh, Zari will also have a shot on Fen. I think he's going to go in the Fen round here. He marked Fen. Yeah, no reason not to. These optics make them so accurate, right? So you're you're really likely to to get these to get the two hits. And no, he switched to Boba. He switched to Boba. Well, it does mean that Boba's got to get double paint on these uh, hit crit. Hit crit. There it is. It's going to be range three. Safe. Yep. There's the paint. It doesn't even need to reroll. And there, that was the reason why Greer did not have a follow-up shot on the Fen Rao. Oh, that makes sense then. If, if there's no follow-up shot, then I absolutely fire up Fett. Two hits. He oh. one reroll there. He needs one of these to come up as a squiggle. And does, and he does. the Spend force. force. No problem. You said you want some cinematic movement, Ryan. Here we go. Try to... Yeah, give me that cinematic movement, baby. Uh, that wasn't very cinematic. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> My, my so now Finn is going to enter. Finn has entered the battlefield. There is the it's range. It's the resistance. It's the resistance. There's a range three bubbles for Finn Rao. And uh, there's no resistance. It's the resistance. N nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're the best. Oh, buddy. You know what I realized I forgot to do. I gotta go I gotta do a thing. What did you forget to do? I gotta do a thing that I can't really talk about out loud. But I'm doing oh. it right oh. now. All right. 
So Finn getting placed at the top of the board. Going to give him a little spin -a to make sure that he's, he's probably going to be right on the edge of that range tree bubble, you think? Yep. One forward, one forward, one forward, one forward. I mean, you could do the two or three and try and like force your hand on the issue, but mm -hmm. no reason. He's inevitable. You don't want to go too fast with Finn. You want to make sure that he never, ever has to turn around. There you go. My name's Finn. I am inevitable. Somebody get on the Photoshop, please. I need a Thanos uh, Finn overlay, please. <laughs> oh. Big deal is on the field. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> Crazy Vulcan said, okay, for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Drop it in the Discord, in the Space Jam chat. Now Cam is in a precarious spot, but luckily he's got those prox mines to cover behind Boba. And don't forget, Boba had that shield upgrade, so he's, you know, uh, six hull, three shields. He's still doing okay. But he needs to start popping some of these ships. And these A-Wings are really good at getting out of trouble. And also, also, also don't forget that Rose can jam, right? So jam. I don't know. Sorry. I, I don't to. know if a too hard gets her at range one of Finn, right? Mm, no. But it might. Um, I don't believe. So if she does a too hard to the right. I don't it, I don't know but then if she is able to then jam Fen right mm -hmm. that's a big that's a big move what about um because I, I got an idea got a little idea for you yeah what, what about a little tactical bump here you take Rose you go one yep, forward you do one forward yeah. and you stay there and you cause a little bit of a pile up with Fen Rao and Boba Fett giving Finn the big deal, uh, a shot with an unmodded, uh, maybe against Fen Rao, and, and giving the A-Wings some, maybe some pot potential really good shots into Fen Rao as well. Well, uh, Tactical Bump's totally fine. There's Fen just doing a one forward. Nice and easy. Oh, there's a two hard, so never mind. Takes Does a focus. Does he get the jam, though? Nope. Grabs a nope. focus. Just focuses. Um, also, your pull is still up, Dion. Ah! Well... Panic. Got it. All right. Player one, Garen Crow, is is the champion, the people's champion. We'll see how that pans out. All right. Positioning for the A-Wings. Have those blasters set to fire at range two in, uh, in that corner. Is Rose at range one of Fen right now? Dion, can you, is there any way for you to see that? Uh, I'm just so curious. No, there's no... Let me see. I think so, though. I think that's range one. Like, take take the range one from the obstacles. Right? And transfer that oh, over. Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's range one. It definitely is, right? Could be a possible I, missed I, opportunity I, I, there. I think I personally would have jammed with Rose there. That's me. And now he could be looking to K turn with Rose next turn. Mm -hmm. And if he's looking to do that, then then you get it. Like then yeah, I, I wouldn't do that if you're looking to do a red next turn because jam's a red action. But man, meaning Fen not having a token here. And he did get into range one after the boost. Mm hmm Finn going only that one forward in the back means that he's going to be out of the fight this turn. All right. Fen Rao looking at options. Mm hmm Probably goes, uh, let's see, Greer and they're both the same price. Greer is more expensive. 
So it's going at Greer. Four hits. Going to be taking a shield at least. Going to be getting two half points. Yeah. Greer, straight to half. And that's all without having to spend the focus as well. So I know. Finn sitting pretty. Finn. And, and Ryan, I could feel you being like, man, if he doesn't have to spend, or if he like uses this focus on defense or something like that, it's going to be some real feels bad. We got hit, hit, crit coming in on, who is that? That's this is ZZ, ZZ on Boba. Ooh. That's... Boba with one reroll. Has the force, spends yeah, it, for hit sure crit, spend it, and so that, two shields. No, he he only has a single shield. That's going. Oh no, sorry, Nick was just no, so no, fast. No, no, he had the shield upgrade, so yes, he'll have one shield left. I got excited there. I thought that crit was going under. I no, thought he was about no, to get tickled. Yet. He's not going to take the stress though to keep that maul. I wonder if do those do those A wings just say nah, never mind, Fenral. We're going to go at Boba Fett. You could. You certainly could. I would. I mean, Boba's so thick, 117 points. Only one yeah, reroll and no force now. And remember, he can't get the force back until... Oh, no, he would He would no. have done, had to do it right there. He would have had to do it. He would have had to have done it right there. And he okay. Didn't. And here's Boba going back at ZZ. You shoot me, I shoot no, ZZ you. ZZ going back at Boba. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is a Boba Fett reroll. And three hits and a crit. ZZ does have that evade token. Yeah, Boba going into ZZ. Sorry, yeah. I can't talk. I'm tired. It's all right. And takes a shield. Oh, my gosh. That's half points on ZZ, though. 44 it is, to 0. ZZ's rolling out of his mind. <laughs> all right. And what's the call? He's got a range three shot. You fire at Boba. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. Yeah, but... he's got the rerolls, but just... You've got optics. Uh, Looks no, like he's going he, after Fen. He's going after Fen. Range one. Don't personally agree. I'll have to ask Ryan about that choice later. About the math there. Yeah, I, I think. Note to oh, self. You, well, ask okay, on you don't have a focus on Greer there. So maybe you just think I'll take the extra die because you don't have the optics up. No, nah, I think this is a missed opportunity here for. So three hits there. And he's got the focus. Yep. That's fine. Cause yeah, I mean, he's got the focus, no problem. The, but the, if he didn't have the focus, <laughs> <laughs> he'd be taking one. <laughs> right. Well, like, so I, I think that is... I think maybe Staniszewski there is just going for the uppercut, saying, you know what, let me just try to see if we can do something. Sure. But, like, you're, you're There's right. There's nothing the, wrong with that. The math yeah. the math was, quote-unquote, wrong. Because without the force available, the a single – Boba Fett would have had three dice with yep. a single reroll. Re and that is yep. worse than having four dice with a focus, right? Four dice with a mod versus three dice with a mod. Significantly different, especially when that mod can only reroll a single die at the time because Lone Wolf is currently off. Um, so, a bit of a mistake there. Could come back to haunt him if you end up with a Boba Fett that has one or two hole left at the end of the game. You go Maybe. back and, yeah, we'll and, see. and think, sure. like, oh man, what if? What if? ZZ's in a really good spot to, to bully um, Boba Fett here, though, and keep him from you know, doing Boba things. But I think that um, with Slave 1 on the table, you can pretty much... Oh, wait, he doesn't... Yeah, he has Slave 1. Yeah, I think you can pick something that makes... I think you can make sure you don't get blocked here. Yeah, I mean, I think... Zari... I'm curious to see what Zarya does. I mean, you probably just one hard. Okay, I like the position. And of some people are some people are saying I hate that one forward from Finn. That's like the slow roll with Finn is what you do. 
Like, if he does a three, if he goes too fast and gets caught on the bottom part of the board, mm -hmm. like, here gives you the flexibility if the battle changes to cut down the center, right? Yeah. Like, he might go a little faster with Finn here. I might uh, consider doing a two or a three, but you just, you want, this is a long, long fight ahead. You have 50 minutes here, and Finn is the guy that will be laying these haymakers eventually. Yeah, you got to make sure he has available. It's it's It was a risk assessment, right? So you had to choose what uh what were you willing to do because if if he if, if Boba Fett had just range one Boba Fett was like all right well let's range one into your face got re rolls and you end up losing that uh that piece that could be really valuable later on. If you haven't noticed up on the screen, I did put up a, a fun poll here. I like to always ask this question once in a while. What uh, what's your favorite faction? Go ahead, let us know in that poll. Uh, very easy. All you gotta do is type a number that corresponds with your favorite faction one for rebels two for empire three for scum four resistance five for first order six for republic seven for the separatists all right so looks like zari's turning out and boosting trying to create a little bit of space for fen of course fen can pretty easily close that gap i wonder if we're going to see the a-wings split here Ooh, nice blocking position for rose i like that that's a block now on the she two jam? bank Nope, she just nope, focuses. Focus. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. Mm. He doesn't want to be stressed. That's. I know, chat, if she blocks, the jam does nothing. But if she doesn't block, the jam does something. <laughs> what <laughs> if? Like, come on. What if is the is the answer? All right. So it looks like we got a hard <laughs> one from uh, from Zari. Probably just getting the the focus rotate. Has a range two or maybe three shot on the Fenral. It's called the Space Jam Tournament, Stanizuski. <laughs> Now, again, he might be fully aware being like, I don't want to be stressed with Rose, which is also like valid if he wants to like, again, K turn next turn. Like he could have reasons for not jamming and boost boost rotate here gets the bump. Now, I'm, I'm again with my co-host uh, Stan Azuski. I'm going to disagree on the boost. I would have liked the focus there, but. There it is. There's the block. You're going to have a Does range, get the block. range yep. two shot without a mod, though. Five dice shot. Got two. Only two. Only two. This is going into Greer. And Greer has Greer a focus. Be safe, no problem. To laugh in the face of Fenrau. Baha. One hit coming in. And One got invade. it. Yep, no problem. All righty. Boba taking a range three shot. Has one re-roll. And a force. So we're going to see one yep. roll here. Definitely. Oh. Just two. And going to be taking one damage there. Sure is. Oh no, the uh, Rose ability there. Rose oh, he was gets a re -roll. Rose. Yeah, okay, Rose reroll. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. Wait, wait. Where's Rose getting the reroll from on that? Because Rose is in the attack arc of Boba. She get counts. It counts for herself, right? Sorry. Yeah. I'm just going crazy. Oh. Fenral just blanked out. 
Sure did. Taking two cards there. That's half points on Finn. All right. So Rose says, while you defend or perform an attack, you may re-roll up to one of your results for each other friendly ship in the attack arc. So there were other friendlies in Boba's arc. Right, exactly. Yeah. So just want to make sure that. So yeah, you need, for Rose, you need friendlies in your arc when you're attacking, but you need friendlies in the opponent's arc when they're attacking for those benefits. So you kind of have to yep. track multiple things there. Mm-hmm. Precisely. Um, and yeah, you know what? Somebody called me out in the chat on something I said wrong. So I said I disagreed with the boost there. Um, yeah, looking at the positioning again, the original spot, I guess at first I thought the one hard would not have cleared either. But now seeing the position that Boba Fett is in, the one hard probably would have cleared. I would have to say probably would have still cleared, which would have then most likely set up a prox mine situation for next turn and Boba coming in and probably smacking Rose and uh, or Greer around a little bit. And Finn is slowly moving in to do Finn thing. That's right. He's, I mean, he's fine, just, you know. He's that constant threat. And now with Fenral being at half points, that yep. that Finn coming in here is a lot more dangerous. But Cam Cam still has a lot of tools. The thing about this Boba Fen list, the reason it's so good is that it has when it's working, it has a ton of modifiers. It has a lot of different ways to just uh, mitigate damage. But Fen Rao hates resistance A wings. Hates resistance sure A wings does. because. This whole game, Staniszewski, as soon as he saw he was playing Boba Fenn, his number one goal is, I want to make sure Fenn Realm never sees a front arc of my ships. Because he doesn't yep. have to. And you know what? At some point, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Finn do either this turn or next turn, do a one forward and barrel roll one way or the other. Uh, just because you have that um, on the bottom right debris, mm -hmm. he wants to just keep going one straight. So... Yeah. I would not be surprised if he does a one forward and barrel rolls either to his left or to his right, depending on what kind of approach uh, approach vector he wants to take. Personally, I think he probably does a one forward and barrel rolls. I mean, it's hard to tell. Um, left, just to try and stay behind. Oh, nope, the bank's fine here too, because next turn he can bank as well back in. One speed maneuver, is it? Just pretend the rest don't ma aren't on Finn's dial. Smooth skeleton, I see your tag there. Um, I don't, I don't understand the reference. More explanation so that I can give some context to everybody who's listening. Uh, uh, no jam from Rose again. <laughs> so sad. It's constantly threatening the uh, the K turn. Yeah, the constant. I swear I'll do it. Stan has got a really good kill box on Fen Rao, though. That's right. Set up. Come in the box. These A-wings with you're optics. You're fine. Did that get another bump? No, that cleared. Boba Fett has been, has been loosed on the world. The boost to the right might even fit to go after Finn. Yeah, but it's so hard to hit Fen with one shot. Like, Fen Rao is the thing that makes Finn shiver in his jimmies. <laughs> Nobody wants to shiver in their jimmies. But you know what? The other thing that the uh, the boost sets up is the prox mine for next turn. Sure does. Looks like... Uh... Boost. I think you just stay right there. Boost would fit, but then no arc. What do you mean? You got an arc in the back too. You get a shot at ZZ. No, there, I'm saying I there's just, the boost. I no, sorry, I was right talking. I was talking to the, to the chat. Oh, the chat. I'm talking to Jeff. Calling boost Jeff out. There. Yeah. Calling Jeff but out. Remember what I said. If you're there, Finn suddenly has to go. God, now like if it, you know you have to try and make Finn turn around. Getting behind Finn is what you want, which is why. Sorry, I wouldn't have banked with Finn. Um, the one forward to victory. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fenral has entered the box. 
He's, he's in a he's in a tough spot. That's a really bad spot for Fenn. He's going to be taking three shots for sure. One's I, mean, at, I think he's even in Finn's arc. Barrel roll. Barrel roll back and focus, you fool. Vagabond 1973 in the chat says, Jam on Fenn would have been nice, huh? <laughs> it sure would have been. <laughs> I think Stan Zuzzi just doesn't know that Rose can jam. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll ask him after the. We'll I think he's forgotten. To... It's so easy to forget that these things can do it. We'll, we'll ask him later. Yeah, I'm sure he's got like a big brain explanation for me. It's gonna be something simple. Like I just don't like to to stress <laughs> Rose. All right. Looking at options. <laughs> Belinda Mood says he's going to get chat slapped Monday night. All right, barrel rolling towards ZZ. That'll get yeah, him range three for sure from Zari. Uh, gets him out of Finn's arc for sure as well and gives him some Concordia protection uh, from yeah, ZZ. Yeah, that's 100% the, the correct move. But crack shot is live. He, yeah, he does have crack shot on ZZ there, but overall, it's your best move. And Easily evaded by Greer. Yep, easy. No problem. Here we go. Range one from Zari into Fenrau. Two. Ooh, just one. Two hits. Most likely was going to only be two anyway, but feels yeah. feels worse because it looks bad. No! Oh! Ah! That's going to be a damage. That's going to... that Because he'll spend one in Concordia. Yeah, he'll spend the focus and then Concordia. So one will get through. Down to one hole on Fenrau. Oh boy. The protector yeah. of Concord not down. Dead. Yeah, he's not dead because of Concordia, guys. But he could be dead soon. <laughs> All right, Boba Fett now wants some vengeance on ZZ. ZZ so good, so survivable. Just gonna repeat here. Remember, Concordia and uh, Crack Shot cancel each other out there for one damage. Here we go. Boba hit hit crit. Is he going into Finn? Yep. Going into Do the not big. Not agree. Going into the big deal. Probably just a takes trap. a strain here. It's a trap. It's such a trap. Spends a no. focus and gets the evade. I mean, yeah, he can, I mean, oh, well, okay, so he can prox onto ZZ next turn, right? Yeah. And that'll be one damage and probably dead. So I suppose going after Finn's not bad if you think you're going to kill ZZ with your prox next turn. Yep. Forgot about that, right? Mm -hmm. So if you think that the prox mine will kill ZZ, if, you're fear, if you feel confident about that, then totally fine. All right, here's two hits from Greer in the Fenral. Could this be it? Four dice from range three. Fenral surviving. He's only got to survive one more shot this round coming in from Greer. It's obstructed. Five dice for Fenral. Yeah. But it'll still probably be just con consistently two. Two just hits two again. Hits coming in. So he needs two evades with the five dice. He nope. gone. He gone. He doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. G O O O N E gone. And that's what happened. Like these A wings just with optics, two hits, two hits, two hits, two hits, two hits. And you know, once you start losing those mods, yep. it's, you know, that's what can happen. All right. So Boba and the dream. So right now the score 44, 71. Here's the thing though. I have seen Boba Fett clean up a table, even in worse straights than he's currently in. And Cam is a really good 
player. I have seen this man play, and he can play. So uh, don't count him out yet. He's still got a path to victory. Boba Fett has all the tools he needs. Lone Wolf permanently active, so plus one reroll on everything. Uh, well, once per once per turn, uh, if uh, when he needs it. So, um, but let's see what he does. Yeah, but if there's one, if there's one swarm E type thing that can deal with Boba, it's A wings. Because they yep. don't need to be at range one. True. Right? They just zip around, keep their distance, plink away. And don't forget, Boba's just a couple away from half. Mm hmm. Like, th that's ridiculous. So, the Boba took a little bit of a risk shooting at Finn there that last round. I understand the sentiment. But if this prox mine doesn't kill ZZ, I feel like that decision's going to feel bad. Yeah. We just got to see what happens. That's really uh, and the other thing is like if you kill ZZ that on your shot, which is unlikely, but let's say you do, then you save that prox mine for a, a future resource. And I guess Rose not jamming Fen didn't matter in the long run. <laughs> I'm still mad. Here's I'm the, still mad. Here's the Brox mine that definitely hits. Let's find out. Takes one damage. And he has to roll two dice. One hit will take him out. Oh, only rolled one. He still lives! Still alive. The ship that lives! Still, still alive. Oh, that feels bad. <laughs> and, that's, and that's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> like, that's the kind of thing we're talking about here. Like, you're when you play these types of games of X-Wing, you always need to be looking at the odds of every situation. Yeah, even with three hits against Finn, it's so un like it's so hard with one attack to push through damage because of his ability. He's getting an auto evade, right? Like it's you know it's tough so you want to hedge as much as you can into killing the ships that you can kill now i know cam is a little bit behind so he says okay if i can get one shield off finn and my prox kills zz i can make up some ground right yep but it is you know now you're really in the hole yeah, right now, Boba Fett, uh, ha I, I think the one hard from Boba Fett is probably the move. It gives you the best opportunity to have things at range one and have an opportunity to get some rerolls. There it is right there. One hard, a round yeah. of debris. You have Finn. You're going to take the focus and hope that you can catch one of these A-wings uh, by surprise. Here we go. I mean, these A-wings are... Can do, we're just gonna keep chipping away at him. They're gonna get two hits almost every time they fight. Except now. One hit, one hit. <laughs> Tabletop simulator said, no, look at this. Look at me, Ryan. Look me in the eye. Alright. You should have one more die, but didn't yeah. matter. Unless a little no, less was... likely for ZZ because ZZ's got the um the check. crack and no heroic, but not much. Right. Not much. All right, going into – oh, that feels bad. This is going into Finn. Has two re-rolls. That was a focus. Yep. All right. Yeah, Finn's the trap. Three hits. And Finn can just avoid all the damage. No problem. Take a strain, strain, add a focus, spend a focus. You spend both the focus from Perceptive Copilot. That's what Finn does. Yep. You know? And if when you're playing against Finn, you're like, this is so dumb. But you have to realize single attacks on Finn are not very effective. Like, even with that shot, you're still at best probably just doing one damage. One or two. Like, if you're lucky, you get two on him. And that's going to do damage. 
Sure is. The reroll does do two, nothing to. And now, that should give Boba to half now? Yes. Yes. 44 to 130. Now, really quick. Now, there I know there are 30 minutes left in the game, but unless Cam can really turn it around, that half on Boba is really sealing it. You know, uh, like. Another two hits coming in. Oh, my goodness. Yep, that's brutal. One of eight, so another damage on Boba Fett. The advanced optics A-wings guys are just incredible, you know? And you can debate all day. Is it better to have five A-wings with optics? You know, you take ZZ and Greer and Zari, and, and you kind of take a couple blues and take all those with optics, or is this particular build with Rose and a punchy fin better? Um, you know, we, we can talk about that. I really like this build a lot. There's a reason I took this, a very similar build to this to worlds. Uh, there's a reason that, you know, Kalen Wong's done really well with it. Mm -hmm. Our sands done really good with it. Both this and five a wings are the best. The resistance has to offer right now. So no question. So there was somebody in the chat earlier. I forget who it was, who was, who mentioned that, um, so yesterday you had mentioned that, or said something along the lines that. Finn was the most consistent damage out of in the like, in the resistance because of his ability and all that, uh, and yeah. and posted and was like, oh, but what about Ray? Ray's more consistent. While that might be true, and she does punch a little bit harder for the cost, Finn is a significantly better value. Am I, I right? Mean, right. Finn's forty-two points. It's half of Ray. Yeah. And sure, like I'm talking like consistency. And like, okay, Ray also like, but you, you need, oh my God, you have to put pump so many points to get that to work. Right. And right. yeah, it can hit harder, but turn after turn after turn, Ray's going to run out of that force. Right. Mm -hmm. Like as long as Finn gets his one action, he's up, he's working. And just, sorry, just to add one quick thing. And that's with perceptive co-pilot too. On right. Top. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. very cheap. Yeah, so overall, this fin at 42 heroic perceptive advanced optics is just really, really good. Rose, after being after doing that K-turn, she said, hey, you see, that's why I didn't jam earlier. <laughs> so I could get back into the fight. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Greer, uh, Greer bump in there. The uh, the someone that's in the chat saying the better Finn has pattern analyzer. I disagree. Oh, sorry, that's Zari. Zari doesn't care about bumping. Well, I mean, Finn with pattern analyzer does make him. Uh, let's see. Wait, I just want to double check something. Oh, no, yeah, he's got optics there. Yeah, no, optics is it's, better. It's optics. optics is... It's, it's no question it's optics for the consistency. You just send him up in a place with... Uh, if you're using it's the resistance, you send him in a place where you just... You just give him the one forwards. And oh. he's even he's out of the fight right now. That's fine. He's just going to be threatening. You're using his front arc as a do-not-fly zone so your A-wings can do work. All right, so Greer did a tactical bump, which allowed Greer to be in range one of Boba Fett's move even after the boost. And Boba Fett, yep. uh, he'll give, give a shot back at Greer, but Greer is currently uh, at two, so we'll see if he can take him off the board here. Boba Fett trying to find some magic here. Couple of re-rolls. There we go. Three hits and a crit. Yeah, three hits and a crit. That, that, that's definitely what he needs to climb back into the game. That's going to do it. Yeah, that will do it. Greer that's will Greer. be taken off the board without getting an opportunity to return fire. Yeah, that's an initiative kill. And Greer is Zizi's great. Sorry, but sorry, no, that was sorry, that was Zari. Oh, was that Zari? That was Zari, not you Greer. Lied to me. I you lied. lied. He's to alive. Me. Here's the return shot. <laughs> you lied to me, Dion. I'm How sorry. How am I supposed to believe you with all these lies? Ooh, Nettie's out though. Nettie's. All right. 
Sorry. I usually, when I play Greer, and when I set up Greer as colors, usually Greer is always green because it makes sense. So that's Ugh. my bad. I'm going to blame Ryan. It's, half, it's, though. it's Stanizuski's fault. So all these A-wings are at half. Yeah. So the, you know, with 24 minutes left, the slow, the slow climb is there. But now Finn is in a perfect position to do it too hard here. And he Finn hasn't even attacked yet. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Like, you just do it too hard with Finn and start sealing the deal. Now, the other thing you could do with Finn is just, you know, take it, you know, take it easy. Because if Boba decides to do like a two hard or three hard left, you know, you, you, you want him with Finn, try not to get juked if possible. But I still think the two hard is the correct call. Even if Boba arc dodges you, that's one less action that he has. True. Now, looking at the position here, um, we have Greer, actual Greer, real Greer at the top of the table. Do we think uh, Stanizuski is going to try to put him in there for a block? Crickets. I think so. <laughs> that got awkward. Did I lose Ryan? No, I'm there. Oh, okay. I just chose not to respond. You chose not to respond. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I threw you the ball and it hit you, you in the face. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I was actually sipping my coffee. Ah, uh, oh my goodness. Somebody did the... The I am inevitable uh, Photoshop for Finn. Yes. Oh, oh, but baby, put I, that in the chat so I can see. It's in the commentary staff chat. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. If you're not on the. I threw that together for you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Is it in the Space Jam chat? It is. I, it's cross posted over there, too. That's so good. Excellent, excellent. So if you want to see that, those of you who are watching live, you can check it out. Discord, uh, Space Jam chat. I am chat. inevitable. Oh, that's great. I am inevitable. Yep, that's that's it. That's the meme. Meme of the week. If Stan Zuski wins the whole thing, that's got to be the episode of your podcast. Well, <laughs> that'll be the episode of my podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what if we do it both the same? confuse people because... oh we both need the same thing not confusing at all all right finn uh, not wonder, finn. wonder what boba did 4k he's got sleep one though no fork he went for the 4k and he bumped oh my god boba barely though barely Has a couple of options here. Probably going at the half points. Zari. Ooh. Focus out. Spends the focus. No problem. Finn's finally going to get his shot. Not right now, obviously, but in a minute. All right, here we go. This is obstructed. Yeah, no uh, focus for optics, so that's actually not going to do anything. Whiff. You know, just a whiff. Now, I want to remind you guys that, uh, oh, sorry, last next shot. This is, uh, Finn. He'll take the strain for the focus, make it two, and then optics for the other focus to make it three. And that's why you take optics and not pattern. Consistent, consistent, consistent. Four dice. Boba does have a couple of rerolls available, and the force oh, he's will good. do it. He's good.
so man you've got a lot of tough choices here but boba needs to decide if he wants to drop do you only get one prox or two prox i think you get two right that's two yeah yeah i think he needs to choose if he wants to clog up that lane behind him i know you'd rather use it on auto damage right or, right. or deterrent from being right behind you but you you're stressed like you have to choose if you want to make sure that finn can't come in in, in that lane right mm. but maybe here's the other thing finn could just be like nah it's fine and like <laughs> eat the prox mine he could he could i mean um, i mean i wouldn't but it, it all is depending on like how much is it worth it because 18 minutes left given the speed that we're going at per round you're probably looking at four more rounds probably four more yeah it's just that that prox mine is potentially basically like a, another attack i i like the op the option of of putting it out as a basically an extra obstacle but at the same time like that to me that feels bad like i have one ship left you need that prox mine to count it's got to be it's got to be there it's got to be auto damage um and it's a great tool against these a wings if you can get it in position the problem of course is that the a wings are they're using the back arc. They're doing what A wings do. They say, "Why? Yeah. Why would I look at you when when I can just fly away and keep having my shots?" That's the strength of these resistance A wings. So good. Yeah, Boba's got to being stressed that the K turn, the K turn not working out. Oh man, weird. If uh, people saying that I had bad takes, what if you dropped the mine there and Finn did do the one bank? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. God. <laughs> All right, and as we see these moves going real quick, uh, we do have our... Our poll up right now, what's your favorite faction? So if you haven't voted in that, let's go ahead and see where our audience is at. Super easy to vote. Just type the number that's next to the faction. Uh, one for Rebel, two for Empire, three for Scum, four for Resistance, five for First Order, six Republic, and seven Separatists. Let us know what's your favorite faction. We're just polling our audience right now. You know, we got quite a few people watching right now. We have 411 beautiful faces. Uh, and that's not including, like, other people who are watching with you. So... Let us know what's your favorite faction. Boba Fett coming around the mountain here. One left turn. Has to boost yeah, if he wants a shot. I think he's still stressed, right? Ooh. Unless he contrabanded. Oh, you're right. You're right. There is a stress there. I don't know if he still does he still have contraband up? Uh, he flipped the charge for it. Oh, okay, got it. Thank you. So no contraband. So ZZ shooting two. And the force will make it fine. Yep. Right, just update from the other table. We do have a completed game. Richard Herman won against Captain Sebastian, 200 to 66. Other games are in progress. We are winding down. It sounds like table one might be completed as well. We just don't have a score there. Nick, if you can go over and check table one for a score after this attack here. The heroic. Oh, hate to see it. It's always rough when you uh, heroic into uh, either blanks or blank focus when you've got those optics. And has to re-roll here because there is one you hit. You got the lone wolf. Oh, it takes a damage still. Anyway. Jeez. 
Heroic Cam says, must be cursing his dice. Look at me. <laughs> Value. And Finn still gets to shoot. Unobstructed. So Rose first, though. She has... gets two re-rolls. And she has a focus, so this will probably be two. Oh, hit crit. Natty's Easy. baby. Yeah, he's out. Do you know it's like Michael's in the in the table, so you should get that in a uh, moment. All right, cool. Takes a strain. Adds a focus. Ends up with three yep. with optics. Three. Oh, blank out through the rock. Is that it? That's it. I am inevitable. <laughs> Whoa! Here we go. I can, I can, uh, I can bring that, uh, that up here. Takes you three know? damage, right? I just want to double check, make sure that's, that's no. It is. That's it. Range two obstructed. Three, three blanks. There it is. <laughs> Yep. Man. <laughs> so yep. that score ends there. 64 to 200 for Ryan Stanizuski.